what the European Parliament is and what it does. And it's for you to make that value judgment. Although you are coming from a business perspective, do you have any consideration for the impact that global talent pools may have on the English culture? Anyone who, t who tells you that there's a sort of either or choice between selling into kind of fast growing markets and selling into our established markets like the EU, um, that is a false choice. What evidence do you have that we would actually lose the four million jobs that we have from exports? It's, it's very disheartening to hear people, um, mainly uh, Sharon's leader, Nick Clay, continuously use this phrase and say that these jobs are dependent on the EU, they're not dependent on the EU. The more educated we are about politics and how the world works and how the UK economy works, the more likely people our age are likely to vote. We need a broader mix of students understanding exactly what's going on in order that they can use their right to vote, understand the value of the vote and understand the power of their vote as well. Do what young people all over the world are dying to do. It's essential that young people get their votes because we are the future essentially. What's the point if um, people like Cameron want to reform this fundamental feature? What's the point then of staying in? Looking at it realistically, I cannot in my own mind say that I could see that we would keep more than we would lose. I think it would be the other way around. How is the EU directly relevant to young people? Those who voted out 27 those who voted in 166.